Hello, all you space engineers out there. Commander Kingfish here, and we are, it, well, it is day six on our mission to get to the moon to build a base, but our first stop, we need to build an outpost. Some sort of uh, place that uh, we can use to uh, fuel up our ships and have a safe haven if we should get attacked down there on the moon. So what the plan is to kind of set up a real basic outpost with a refinery, an assembler, some uh, storage with a battery complex, uh, maybe two or three batteries along with the hydrogen engine. And we're gonna set up some solar panels. So that's what the outpost is gonna consist of. It will have a platform where we can dock our ships and so that's what we got started on so if we fly over to the well first off I need to do this real quick let's uh, get charged up that way we're not gonna run out of energy while we're out there all right so now let's head over there the doors. And let's kind of come down over here. So I started hollowing this out. Uh, I've put the first set of blocks in coming into here. And so I need to kind of keep drilling this out somewhat. And then I need to build the platform out a bit more out here. And what I want to do is figure out, so if we fly out here and we kind of go look around and we kind of come straight up, I'm thinking that get up here towards the top and we are going to set up some solar panels up here that will run off of uh, a uh, script that will be able to track with the sun. Now, as you can see, we do have a uh, amount of darkness, so we're not gonna be able to get it completely in the sun all the time, but it will kind of keep the batteries charged up because once we get this place set up, we're not going to be using that much energy out of the batteries. And again, we'll have a hydrogen engine set up as a backup. So let me kind of get started here. The other thing I wanted to try to get done today is to build a mining ship. Uh, something that I can uh, take and fly out to these other uh, spots that we've identified, like the nickel. And we'll want to be able to use that in here to be able to unload and load. And so that's gonna be part of the docking platform out here. So let me get started on that. And once I get some updates, I get a little farther along, uh, I'll catch back up with you all. Well, just to give you a little bit of an update, I've been uh, trying to uh, dig out the cavern in here to so that we could have enough room for the equipment. And I've got it back to about here. I think that's as, as far back as I'm gonna go for now. Uh, it's quite a few blocks in. I wanna put the assembler and refinery in this area right here. And so that's what I'm trying to dig out now. So I can at least put the uh, framework for those two items and then what I will do is have a uh, probably put a small cargo container uh, in front and then I will pipe that in to the cargo container from out front here where I can have a docking station for the miner when it uh, comes in I've been kind of trying to pick up some of the unknown signals as you can see just popped in so i'm probably going to fly over there and get that 
but I wanted to give you a bit of an update. Uh, I have kind of built the platform out a little bit more. So you can see that that's kind of expanding out. And so I do want to try to get the refinery framework in. And so I want to dig, dig this area out a little bit more so I can kind of pop in the refinery. So let me go get this uh, unknown signal because those supplies are going to be, they're very helpful, actually. A uh, lot of steel, and that's what I've been using quite a bit of. So I'll go get it, and then as soon as I have a bit more of an update, I'll uh, catch back up with you all. Well, to give you another update, I've kind of laid out, uh, this is where my assembler is going to go, and obviously my refinery, uh, the small cargo container, I need to build out this cargo container because that is going to allow me to uh, get to my uh, conveyor system. When I had to redo this uh, scenario, uh, I lost my progression. So I basically am trying to get my progression through again. So I am going to go ahead and build out this, I'm gonna have to build out this small cargo container and then uh, disassemble it so I can start putting in my conveyor system in underneath. So let's do that. Let's go ahead and get the components. Hopefully we've got enough components that we can build that out. And that will give us the ability to... Oh, four metal grids. Let's see. Let's. Can we get the production? Four metal grids. One, two, three, four. Three, four. There we go. All right. So let's build out this cargo container. And then we'll grind it down. Which will open up our conveyor systems to us. And we've unlocked new blocks. So now what I want to do is let's go into G where, there we go, uh, conveyor and cargo blocks. Uh, come on. That is, they've changed this menu up on me and I just, so let's do this. Conveyors, there we go. Uh, let's pull this down because then that will give me all of them that I need. And I think I am going to put a conveyor junction down below, which I need interior plates. So let's uh, fly over and get that. Uh, small tubes. All right, let's do the production on small tubes. Uh, 10, 20. There we go. Now we got everything. We can go ahead and grind this cargo bay down. That way I can put my uh, conveyor all right, we'll take this block out right here. And let's put uh, this uh, conveyor junction in right here. And so what this will do is feed my connection into this conveyor or this cargo bay. Let's get Let's go ahead and build it back in again. Uh, this one here. So let's plop that in. And let's go ahead and build this out. There we go. So I will have a conveyor junction out to here. And it's probably going to be somewhere along on this one right here, I think. So this will be connected in, and I'm going to have my design for my miner is going to be a overhead connector. 
And so I'll have the connector here coming out underneath. So the connector will be down underneath here. I'll need to build this platform out maybe just a little bit more. Uh, that connector will be underneath and then I can just pull right in and lift up to it and connect up and then it'll uh, empty out the ore out of the miner. So that's kind of the plan. Just wanted to give you a bit of an update. Uh, again, I'm hoping to kind of get that in place and then we'll get the refinery built. The other thing I need to do is put in a power room. And I think I'm gonna put that in off over here, uh, this area here. So if I can kind of get that in and start getting some batteries built, uh, at least a couple of batteries and get the hydrogen engine into place. And then that can keep those batteries charged and I've got to look. I can't remember. I th That's one of the reasons I got to get the miner built. So if we take a look at uh, my GPS, I have, I have this one ice. I have it turned on. Where is it at? See if we can kind of determine. Uh, here, let me turn some of these things off. Actually, I can just delete them. I was using those, using these as to try to level out. So let's delete that, delete that, 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 that. Uh, so let's see if we can kind of spot where the ice is. Uh, iron, nickel. Yeah, I suppose the ice is going to be the furthest one away, of course. Well, let me turn some of these others off. I just kind of want to get an idea. We can uh, turn that off. Turn that off. Turn that off, and we'll just turn them all off. No, we don't really need to have them on right now. All right. So let's see. Energy low. Uh. Of course, the ice would be one of the further ones away. It's. 12 and a half kilometers away. So I better get charged up here. Uh, once I have a little bit more done, uh, what I'd like to get done today again is the assembler, the refinery, and to have this connection in so that uh, I can next, next episode start building the miner and get the and start gathering ice for the power which we'll put in next time as well all right once i get uh, a little further along here i'll catch back up with you well i think we're getting close to calling it a day today uh, yeah, i have managed to get the assembler the refinery, a cargo bay or a cargo container in so that uh, the materials as they come in, they can uh, store into the cargo container. And then I will build more cargo containers, uh, another cargo container out over here on this side of the assembler. That way we can uh, build stuff in the assembler and then uh, store it in that uh, cargo in right there the next thing I want to do is in the next episode uh, two things I want to try to get accomplished uh, I need to get a power room set up and that's what I've started over here I might do a little bit of work on this grinding this out and stuff uh, uh, off camera and try to get uh, at least the size of this built so I want to put 
probably three batteries in here and I will have a hydrogen engine along Energy, with a container no. and then that way that will be piped in to the system as well so that when I bring ice in it can get pulled into this area in here and that's going to be our uh, power source for recharging our batteries until I can get the solar panels in so that's kind of on tap for next week. I've been kind of adjusting the ship around. Uh, you can see it looks a little cockeyed, but we're in space. Uh, trying to keep the solar panels in contact with the sun. So let's see how they're... Oh, that, so that's got full. And that one's got three and two. Problem with facing this direction I should completely turn it around and face it into the Sun I think I'll do that let's uh, go ahead and uh, do that we'll go inside here I need to get charged up anyway we can completely turn the ship around all right let's hop into the chair here and let's just kind of go outside and see direction our sun and our sun is that way so if we start turning this thing around turn it around this way uh, let's just go to the back it's a little easier to see so if we turn it around like this then we should see that sun Hopefully we're not, if we move it out a little bit, because I can see the asteroid right there. Alright, so let's see if we can kind of get this thing lined up somewhat. So if we go inside here, we can kind of do this, let's uh, turn this around. Maybe come up a little bit. Kick it out a little bit. And then we should be... That should be fairly lined up there. If we kind of do this, I think that sun's going down a little bit. Uh, the other thing I got to do is... Since I don't have an antenna on this thing, I need to delete an antenna. Put that in for current, so that we can always find our damn ship. And let's uh, hop out of the chair here. Uh, that. And if we come out here, kind of look to see what our batteries are doing. And let's go to the control panel. Uh, battery A. Uh, fully recharged in three hours. We've got stored power of 2.67. So that's not too bad. Battery B should be almost identical. And it is. So we've got these panels out and into the sunlight. And then we are... Uh-oh. Uh i got to find my... I gotta find my entrance here. Where did it go? I better put a marker on it. Oh, that's a bit embarrassing. I didn't even think about that. The being in the dark. Alright, the ship's right there. Well, I know it's right here someplace. Oh boy. Not good.
there it is. I see it. I see it. I see it. All right. Well, we are going to right here. Uh, yes, new from current, and we are going to call this Outpost One. Outpost One. All right, we should be able to find this place now. And then once we get the uh, power and stuff, we will add lights and stuff like that to it. Okay. Well, I think that's going to about do it. Uh, again, we got the ship out there uh, collecting sunlight. And we've got basically got the outpost started. We've got uh, started to get some of our production uh, machinery in place. Okay, well, if you uh, like this episode, please hit that thumbs up. It really helps the uh, video out a lot. And uh, please subscribe. That'll really help the channel. Uh, looking to try to continue to grow the channel and continue to provide uh, content for everyone out there. Okay, all you space engineers, keep your heads low, keep building away, and don't get shot. And with that, Commander Kingfish is out of here. And I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.